Okay, now back to the life cycle. Information is created. You type it into some form on Facebook. Information is stored in a database just like this, possibly. Stored in a database just like this. Um, and now let's go on to the next part of the life cycle where information is organized. So if I had a table and that table had 700 rows and every time I wanted to get to a person, I had to like look in those 700 rows randomly, <coughs> excuse me, to try and find the person, that'd be pretty tough, right? No way could I get to information about a person that way. Instead, the information is organized and by being organized, we can get to it. Big way we organize information, first big way we organize information is by indexes. Indexes, which we'll talk a lot more about when we talk about Google, indexes are alphabetical and sometimes numerically sorted lists of names, right? And it, you, can, you can totally understand this for people's names. If I wanted to allow you to get to a person's name, how would I organize all the people? Alphabetically by name, right? Assuming you know this person, you know their name, and so I'm gonna organize it alphabetically. Now, interestingly, do I organize it alphabetically by their first name or by their last name? In different systems, you see them doing different things. Sometimes they organize it alphabetically by their last name. More generally and more recently, they've been organizing it alphabetically by first name because that's kind of how we think about it. Bob Boyko, look under Bob, right? Not look under Boyko, comma, Bob. The older way, the, the, and, and really sort of the more kind of official way to do it, is to alphabetize them by last name. The more common and newer way really is to alphabet, alphabetize it by first name. At any rate, we're in the third stage of the life cycle of an item of information. It's been created. It's been stored. Now it has to be organized. First major way to organize it is alphabetically or numerically. I can organize them by age, for example, or birthday, right? That would be a numeric organization, but that's called an index. Second way to organize the information is by linking it to other pieces of information. How do you find friends on Facebook? You usually click to them from some list of links, right? Not necessarily an alphabetical list. We'll talk about that later, but when you and someone else become a friend on Facebook, a link is created, an association is created between you and that other person, and that helps to organize the information because it allows you to get from person to person to person. And in fact, the social graph that I showed you earlier on in a previous lecture, that social graph is no more than a collection of all the links between all the people in your social network. And so all the links between all the people in your social network are brought together in one Mondo diagram, in one giant diagram, and that diagram is called a social graph, and it's no more than organizing all those people by those links, those friend links. Okay, major way of organizing people, ma major way of organizing items of information number one is indexes, major way number two is links, major way number three is sequences. I can put those friends in some order where I want you to look at the one at the front of the list first, and then the next one, the next one, the next one. Like, for example, look at your friend list on Facebook. Your friend list is not an alphabetical list of friends, and to tell you the truth, I have no idea how they choose which one goes on top, but I gotta assume that the one on top is the one that's like most important, the one you're supposed to look at first, right? When you go down that friend list, you're supposed to look at it from the top down. I gotta guess that it has something to do with the one with whom you've had the most interaction, but that hasn't really played out for my friend list. So I'm gonna have to ask somebody about that. How is it that they order that friend list? But in any case, it is ordered, and it's not ordered alphabetically, it's ordered in the order that they think you want to see them, that you should look at them, that you should consume them. First one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. The results list on Google is ordered similarly. The top result is the one you're supposed to look at first. We call those sequences. Those results are listed in a sequence. Your friend list is listed in a sequence from the one you should look at first to the one presumably you care about the least, which is at the very bottom of the list. Information items organized by index, information or items organized by links, information items organized by sequences, and information items organized finally by hierarchies or outlines. A family tree, for example, is an outline. An example I have here, you can see Abe is the granddad, Bob is the dad, Kraz and Deb are the kids, right? So we have this outline underneath. Each one is a child, each one is one level down from the other. And like a table of contents of a book organizes things um, by outline or hierarchy. Okay, 